I can't breathe. Cue the sound. Sweet relief. Where have you been all my life? Something I never thought much about, but now it's always on my mind. Air from a blue box with a green lifeline. Is it life something? It started with a cough. <coughs> I couldn't lie on my back anymore. I couldn't sleep. Why couldn't I sleep? Why couldn't I breathe? <coughs> You'd figure a cancer diagnosis would hit you like a freight train. But for me, it felt like it kind of blew in on a breeze. Like it had always been there. I'm sure you'd love a detailed and heart-wrenching story about how I survived cancer. But the truth is, most of it is just a lot of waiting around watching the day go by. Counting the cars that drive past your house. Seeking solace in television and social networks. You don't have the strength for anything else. Chemo made sure of that. You feel tethered to your house almost literally. It's amazing how quickly certain things become the norm. You start to wonder how you lived before without them. Do you want to? The days start to blend together. You reach for whatever comfort you have. For me, it's my dad. There for me more than ever. But then he always has been. Super dad. My mom and stepfather. They traveled the miles to be with me. I would have never asked them to. But I am nonetheless grateful they did. My love, there for me every day she can, which frankly is most days. I love waking up to her touch and her smile, and I think about it when I'm alone, and when I'm falling asleep. It makes for pleasant dreams. Days roll by like hours. Months roll by like weeks. You know the world hasn't stopped. You just begin to miss it. With so much time to wait, so little to do, you begin to feel like a ghost in your own house. Soon you can't wait for your next doctor visit. After seven months, most people aren't lucky enough to receive good news. But I am lucky enough, and it's good news all around. The INR looks good, CAC looks good. CAT scan looks perfect. Uh, as I say, not complete disappearance of everything, but things that were residual 4.6 centimeters are down to like 2.8. Things that were 2.6 are down to 2 centimeters. So it's a continued good shrinkage. Complete remission uh, used to be defined as uh, complete disappearance of all the lymph nodes and, or tumor, whatever you're talking about. 
but now actually because we find that with a lot of the lymphomas there is, and even actually sometimes with lung cancers, there's a lot of scar tissue left over where the lymph nodes used to be or the mass used to be. So in essence, if a PET scan shows no activity whatsoever metabolically and the things are shrunk and they've been stable or whatever, you consider it a complete remission. Back home, I think about my time and I'm grateful for it. What will I do with it now? Whatever it is, I know it better be worth it. I survived. I can breathe. I can breathe. Thank you.